Whoa. Good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albano Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino, and we're looking at a beer from Batch. Batch is in Toronto. It is the uh, renamed, rebranded, redesigned uh, Beer Academy. Uh, so owned by Molson Coors. Uh, this one is a batch by Cream or Springs. This is their Cream Ale. So uh, I, I have four batch beers to look at. We're going to start with the least spectacular style, in my opinion. 625 milliliter bottle, 4.8% alcohol by volume. Brewed at Batch Brewery at 75 Victoria Street, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, from the folks at Creamore Springs. Creamore Springs Brewing Limited, BatchToronto.com. Let's open this up. Let's give it a shot. Now, for those that don't know, Creamore Springs is owned by Molson Coors. Uh, some people will not drink a Creamore's product because of that. I still will try any Creamore product I can get my hands on because they do make some nice products and there are a lot that I will drink. Um, regardless of the company itself, the people are good people and they make good beer. Beer, in my opinion, has changed a little bit, but that's my opinion. A um, little bit of an orangey color, actually a nice orangey color. No haze really at all. Nice carbonation moving, nice bright white head. Nice snap crackle pop, you might hear a click, click, click. I'm heating up some salsa con queso in there. Scent. Hmm. Little floral, little earthy, little zesty, little tiny touch of, uh, little tiny touch of sweetness. Floral, zesty, earthy. It kind of it kind of has a smell of the original like cream or pilsner. It kind of has that that almost noble hop smell. Let's try it. Cheers. Okay. I love the labels of these. I like how it's just batch and big letters on a white background with cream ale. What I don't like is this here. Um, lightly sweet and dry finish. It gives you the tasting notes in a big writing on the front. However, I do get that if you go in and you're not keen on uh, keen on craft beer, it helps you decide easier what you want to try. Hey, that sounds like something I'd like. Uh, is it that right? Yeah, it is. Lightly sweet, uh, what you'd expect out of a cream, uh, cream ale. Uh, back end drying, yeah, it is drying. It has a little bit of molasses, a little bit of molasses, and a and a very bready biscuitiness on the end. So very bready, very biscuity on the finish. A little bit of sweet forefront, some molasses, a little bit of earthiness. All in all, this is a nice cream ale. It's pretty much what it's supposed to be. It's just easy drinking. Is it cold? No, it's not cold. It's basement temperature. Oh, somebody's texting me. I don't mind this beer. I don't mind it at all. Out of 10? Give it a 7.5. I could buy this and I could enjoy it. I mean, it's nothing It's nothing spectacular. Uh, but, uh, I mean, I, they, uh, I got a cream ale, a pale ale, a uh, raspberry ginger saison, and a milk stout, so I thought I'd start with this and see what I felt, and there's no flaws in this, there's nothing that makes me go ooh, there's nothing, nothing like that, it's just an easy, clean drinking beer. Cheers.